What is up everyone? It's Katie Ozzy Alistair Fan Bringer here. Yeah, thinking of changing my intro up, making it short and sweet because of course not every one of my subscribers are fans of my little pony or has been hotel, so just gonna keep it short and sweet. What's up everyone? Katie Ozzy Alistair Fan Bruni here and I am quite aware that I have surpassed 10,000 subscribers. I've not done a damn thing about the 10,000 subscriber Q&A video yet. If you keep updated on my community tab on my YouTube channel, you know I was going to do a Christmas related food review tonight. It's literally almost 12 weeks until Christmas, I believe. And Woolies are already getting ready for Christmas. Plum pudding. Now, I have never ever tried a plum before. I've had friggin' barbecue plum sauce when I ordered menu log from friggin' Hungry Jack's. $4 for a 700 gram friggin' bowl of it. Look how big that is. I don't know if I'll be able to eat all that. Wax, wax, waxmas. That's literally what it says. Waxmas. Remove cardboard sleeve and foil seal. Yeah, like you would really put the friggin' pudding in the microwave like it is and grow up as well. It looks like someone just unloaded a whole lot of diarrhea in my cup. <laughs> it literally looks like that. It looks like someone unloaded a whole freaking lot of sloppy diarrhea in my freaking bowl. <laughs> oh, it's a good way to freaking come back to the channel. <coughs> Though I've only been gone for like a week. Huge freaking bowl of sloppy diarrhea. <laughs> Heat pudding for 2 minutes and 30 seconds on high. So, can I put this in the microwave and we'll get back to eating my sloppy diarrhea? I need to stop saying that, just came out wrong. I'll be back in a second. Okay, now let's check out my pudding. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's a big friggin' bowl full of hot, steaming, sloppy. Diary. <laughs> oh, jeez, they made something look so disgusting, edible. Actually, doesn't smell too bad. Jeez, this beer just might be a friggin' long beer, just me eating the sloppy. I'm gonna stop saying that now. I wanna swear less and be less dirty on my channel. Invert the bowl onto serving plate. You idiot, Cody. Good thing I've got a. Oh, will that fit on there? In third bowl, I've got seven plates. Ho ho ho! Squeeze gently. Okay, I'm gonna get a tea towel. That thing freaking hot. Freaking bottles everywhere. Yes, my unit is a bit of a freaking mess at the moment. I would have cleared it up last week, but I had a freaking runny nose. Poor oh, bugger me. Oh, oh, squeeze. Oh, squeezes. Wow, okay. Well, it looks much better when it's, you know, turned up the other way. It doesn't look like a hot, steaming pile of sloppy diarrhea, as I call it. I don't know, I might, not do, I might not do a lot of editing of this video, this is just so damn funny. That's what it looks like, plum pudding. Yeah, let's friggin' eat this plum pudding. Shame I don't have any cream. Yeah, no, I don't have any. Ooh, I do have cream. Well, whipped cream. What's a use-by date on this, anyway? Let's look at the use-by date. <laughs> Yeah, I'm totally gonna freaking die from eating this. 15th of May, 2017. Hey, I've eaten a lot of out of date stuff and I've been fine. Like out of date freaking barbecue sauce. Ah, mother. Hit myself in the face with a freaking lid. Ah, mother. Okay, that looks wrong. Looks like I'm jerking. <laughs> oh.
Oh, that's good. Why well, need cream when you got whipped cream? Look at that. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Look at that cream just oozing down. Yeah, that's a lot of cream. Probably a waste of it though. It's all ending up at the bottom. Also, watching some freaking good old laser beams and good old laser beam. One of the best Australian YouTubers ever. Freaking 19 million subscribers. Good old freaking laser beam. Good man. Whoa, that's. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Yeah, I'm totally not gonna die for making this cream. Uh, plum pudding. Hmm? Actually, not too bad at all. Not bad plum pudding. Oh, oh mother in my cream. <laughs> I totally wasn't being dirty. I am known for being dirty. Yeah, that cream doesn't look too good. Oh well, it's my fault if I end up sick tomorrow. But that wouldn't be a good thing, seeing as I took two days off work last week because I had a runny nose. Yeah, should have got some cream for this crap. But I didn't. Oh well, it still tastes alright. Okay. Ah, creamed on my leg. Why uh, the things that I say always end up sounding so dirty? Yeah, oh no, it's not on my legs, it's on my shorts. Hmm. Traditional rich dry fruit pudding. Well, they Wait, right, wrong, it is rich. How many sugars per 100 grams? 37 grams of sugar per 100 grams. No way. How much would that be? 37. Just excuse me while I calculate that in my head. No way. That'd be like around. Sorry, I'm trying to calculate this stuff in my head. That would be roughly 260 grams of sugar in the 700 gram pudding. Wow! I may be wrong there. Which is why I said roughly. Yeah, next time I have one of these puddings, I'll make sure I actually get cream. Not this whipped cream stuff. Yeah, totally good to do this on a work night. Where I'm having whipped cream on my damn plum pudding. And I might wake up tomorrow morning with a freaking worst belly ache ever yeah definitely try this like not with whipped cream but you know just with thickened cream tastes much better not bad mm. Oh. Mm. I don't think I'll get it again but no just try it for a food review you got oh yeah look at the little fruits the little fruits yeah Little fruits you're getting. Mm. Better not drag this video out for too long though. It's probably gonna be the one of the longest food reviews, if not the longest food review video I've ever done because I've been mucking around and being dirty little brainy. That's right. That was my review on the friggin' Woolworths plum pudding. Though I got this released like a couple weeks ago. They're getting ready for Christmas early, like friggin' three months early. Like friggin' woolies. They start making hot cross buns at the start of January for some damn reason. Make it at least a month to a month and a half before Easter, not like at the start of the friggin' year. That just doesn't make any sense. Not that a lot of stuff makes sense anyway. I don't make a lot of sense. 
Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Comment and subscribe down below where you have notifications on. Make sure you've got notifications turned on so you don't miss out on a single video of mine. Check out these two videos below. I'm Kay the Aussie, Alistair Fan Brony, and I'll see you guys later.